Hi, in this video I'm going to discuss the business model with you. I'm going to give you a couple of examples and I'm also going to show you how it works. This is business model number 5. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about business model number 5. This is an interesting business model and I think everybody can use it. If you use it wisely, trust me, it's going to change your life. Okay, when you read the business model, it's important that you read the value proposition first and see who are your customers and then the key partners. Look at the cost structure and the revenue and then you can read the rest. It's that simple. In order for you to explain to you how the business model works, if you have questions about this, just look at the other video. If you still have question about it, feel free to contact me. Okay, let's talk about this business model. It's really interesting. If you have a company, if you create your own local community, you can find out what your customer really wants. And that's what this business model does. What you're doing is you create your local customer community and you're gonna create together with your community new product or services. I have here products but you can also do this for services in those community people that want certain kind of product you can create together with them a product and the people that help you create a product will be like your test subject you will also give them the product for free or for a certain kind of fee because of this the product development costs will become really low because the customer is helping you create a product it's that simple the thing is what you need to do is the people that are helping you will become early adopter and you can provide them free personal samples in order to see what they really want based on that you can create real products that you can sell to the followers that are in the community what's going to be your main activity your main activity is going to be like customer observation in the community and see how you can participate in discussion on other things it's really important another thing is your company needs to follow the global trends and try to find out what can you offer, what can your product do for certain kind of groups. That's really important in business, this business model. How can you do that? Just look at Google Trends. How can you make a group or a local community? If you're on Facebook, make a Facebook group, try to get as much people in it. You can track those things. When you're like there, you can make a group and put your customer in it and you can see what they are doing and you can also try to find out what their needs are because they can put the problems in the group. So that's how you do that. So you can create online channels, but you can also do this offline. Make a local community where you can meet up one time a week and discuss certain kind of problems of certain kind of needs from your customer. It's that simple. And I think every company needs to do this of every company needs to trying to work together with other company in order to do this so they can see how they can in increase the value proposition. So the value proposition is going to be the product that you and your customer create together and that you can offer to other followers or other customers. It's that simple. Let's talk about the cost. As you can see, these are the costs. The development cost normally is really high. You have to do research and everything. But because you're creating a product or service with your customer, the cost is going to be low. That simple. When you sell the product, chances are that you're selling the product is really high. And you also get high revenue stream because the profit margin is high because of the low cost. It's that simple. If you have question about this business model or you do not know how to use this in your company or you want to know more how you can implement this now in your company, feel free to contact me. I will help you and your company to implement this in your company so you can get the maximum things out of it. The thing is, for every company is different because every company uses different software, but you can think about how you can implement this online and offline. I will tell you how you can do it. And it's for you to decide what you're going to do or not. If you have questions about this or anything related to this business model, feel free to contact me. See you in the next video. This is the end of the video. In this video, I discuss the business model with you. If you have questions about this business model, feel free to contact me. It's
infinite power, infinite, infinite power, infinite, infinite power, power, power.